Right then guys, today's job in Hull. Uh, he's having 12 panels on the rear of the property. Um, he's having power all three, uh, backup gateway, all down the side of the house externally. Um, it's gonna look really nice this one I think, because everything's all gonna be side by side. You have the gateway and your power wall. Um, and then hopefully, as you can see where the garage is just there, the apex on that sort of where it meets at the top, if you can see just up there, it's sort of already in loft space. So, if we can drill on a slight bit of an angle to get up into the loft, we can bring DC cables down. We do have some customers that ask us how can, can we get the cables from A to B as, as meters of middle house, meters outside of house, solar panels on the roof, uh, I've got a, a tax garage or, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, so with this, with this job, we're quite lucky in, in this sense because as you can see the roof, the roof goes sort of so far up the side of the gable and just where I'm pointing just there it's not that far away from being in the loft so what we've done is we've sort of come inside this loft space because there's a loft hatch where the garage space is gone up into the loft and we sort of drilled up on an angle sort of like that and then gone into the main loft space and cut out a hole to get into the cavity. <coughs> so, uh, on this instance, we'll be able to get the DC cable sort of from, from the back side uh, of the property down into the garage and then dropped down the soffit to where the Tesla power has been installed. Just there, we're going to put the, the gateway at the side. So, we're going to put it right up to the side of there, the gateway, and then the power wall is just going to right inside. DC cables down through the soffits, and then hopefully. Can you see there? Uh, we're not gonna. We're gonna hopefully try and not put the conduit down and sort of drill an angle so we don't see any cable outside. So I'll show you what I mean. You can see the real straight through the soffit. We've got a rod inside this loft, um, already fished through. We've attached the rod onto any of these cables and we've basically just gone into this loft, attached the rod to rod and then pulled it straight through into the loft space. Hi hey, you! Just uh, showing guys how we're doing this job. Yep. So as you can see up there, we've drilled on a bit of an angle, attached the rod to rod um, and then we're going to go up into the loft space and pull it up from there and then clip the cables on that diagonal beam which goes straight down to the power wall. Yeah, we got lucky on this job, but yeah. yeah, that's the way we've done it. If for any reason the garage is attached to the property um, and the roof isn't that high up, you can pretty much do the same sort of scenario. But if not, there's another way we do it. And the other way we do it is I'll go back down the front so you can see it. Speed me up, Con. I'm running. Yeah, yeah. Actually, let's just say for argument's sake, this roof slower down. The pictures go that high up. We don't really think we can get through the cavities or whatever. Um, so what we can do, we can come sort of down the side of the gable end. Then usually, see the lead, lead flashing up there. So what we do is sort of go down the back side of the garage, so you don't see see much cabling and you come sort of down in conduit and then you go into this roof up through the lead uh, into the loft space and then you can do the same sort of scenario clip it down the timber back down to the power wall so there's always a way there's always a way that the job gets done and we, we do it as neat and, and uh, as, as efficient as possible but yeah that's how we've been on this job nice coffee in the morning Yeah, that is that is where the gateway and power wall is going to be set up at. The earth rod, unfortunately the customer just put these down so we can't take them up. So we're going to try and get the earth rod down in that corner there, bring the cable underneath pebbles are straight into uh, the meter cupboard. So that's that. Really nice garden, the customer's having it all landscaped. Won't walk on grass because it looks pretty new. So... 12 panels up there, 430s, by facial ones. So yeah, this job should be a really nice job. Finally, it's sunny. Feels like summer. 
Uh, first job with commission where it's nice and bright, so uh, we've been able to show uh, the customer that he's actually generating some sort of solar. Um, so yeah, so job's all finished, all, all commissioned, uh, it's all been handed over to the customer. He's, he's over the moon with, with the way how it looks and how neat it is, there's no cable showing. Uh, I'll just have a bit of a walk through now just to show you the end product. Uh, yeah, so managed to get the cables internally as we said on the previous video uh, so you don't see no cables outside from the roof to the garage managed to get into the top, the top side of that just there and also slightly at an angle and bring the cable straight through um, he's all done with that so yeah so power over gateway down the side down the side of here just to get it pretty much banged Bang, oh, bang level, depends which way you look at it. Um, so yeah, so that's your, that's your gateway, and your power, it's really, really nice, all that room with it. Um, we also managed to get the, the earth rod through the ducting, it had to be ducting here. We went to try and put an earth rod down in that corner, anyway, the reading were terrible, I think it was 830 odd. Um, so uh, yeah, so we couldn't put it there. Fortunately, it's just put all peering down, so getting it across would be a nightmare. So all the moment I seen the uh, the ducting through there, and I managed to fish it down into this corner. As you can see, here for there, managed to get like ninety ohms, something like that. So happy with that. Uh, DC cable run straight up into the soffit, straight down. So literally, that's literally on the cable. Which is surface mount with really everything sort of behind cavities and stuff. Um, and tails are all behind cavities and into the meter cupboard. So that's the system. DC isolation there, there's also DC isolations in the in the the main loft. So we always tend to put the DC isolation isolator for the panels sort of as you enter the loft space, if any reason it needs to be isolated before it gets down to here, it's a matter of just popping your head up and just switching it off. So that's what we've done. Um, panels. Panels are just up there. There he has. Just up there, really happy with the job. We're happy with the job. It looks really nice and shakes it, as I always say. Another look at it. And he's going to leave us a really nice review, he's told us, so yeah, chops are good.